So this is for no. this is for women, women um, believing in believing each other and believing in each other is the title. She has the in in brackets. A gathering for women wanting to understand the men's mental health crisis. Friday the 11th of August. Mm. Yes. Um, <coughs> yeah. This is an area of work that, that where, uh, this is an area where I do a lot of work. Okay. And um, one of the things, and I was talking to you about it yesterday, one of the things that frustrates me sometimes is when you talk to the wives of men or um, when you talk, when you see it maybe just in, in, in men's lives unfolding sometimes in front of you. Yes. Um, when you can see the struggle and that it can be very hard uh, to admit to it. Yes. Understandably. By the man? Yeah. Yeah. To come, like, to to want to explore the possibility of writing the things that have gone astray. Yes. Yes. But then what's, is there a role for women in that? Yeah. Well, I've got very, um, very immediate, strong responses from women saying, not e we're not doing it again. We're not doing it anymore. We're not going looking after them again. We're not saving you out. We're not bailing you out. It's among yourselves. You sort to find a way to sort it out among yourselves. That's the place to do it. Mm. You have that. Um, you have to discover that capacity if you haven't got it. So, um, then, well, the response, some responses I've had to, to this um, is just the situation of somebody who has a brother or a... And who, Say, who doesn't have somebody mm. who's, I would call it, not thriving, is one way of looking at it. Not, yeah. They're not thriving. They're not, you can see they're not growing. They're not thriving. They're, they're blocked. Mm. And for, I think for a lot of women, to be the people that can see this and, and it's, it's brothers or husbands or sons. sons or uncles or whatever, uh, to actually that there's a place that you, we can talk among ourselves about it even, mm. you know? Mm. So that seems valid. It's, that, yeah. it's only one little piece. Yeah. But the, I, a person did say to me, like, I'm delighted to see that this is being talked about. Yeah. Mm. Because to me, it, it is obvious that I see a lot of men that are suffering mm. because the, the changes that are happening, um, the loneliness, there's a, there's a range of things like the changes, just the changes of the changes that have happened in Ireland in the last 10 years, not to mention 20 years, mm -hmm. you know. So there, there are lads that are left high and dry as to what their function is or what they were related to another way of mm. functioning. Um, maybe with physical work would be a thing that I can understand very well, the relationship to physical work as the expression of yourself with no talk, mm. you know? And uh, so anything that, and like, okay, there's women and there's men, there's different things for both. There's a certain way in which we're all we're all here together, and there are things that can be cured uh, separately or worked on separately. And but the general overriding concern is all of our health, mm -hmm. you know. So.